have it. Uh, donate to RonPaul2012.com. You know, Ron Paul needs all the money they can get. Got to keep him on tour. Also, don't forget today, if you are in Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, or Delaware, it is your day to vote today. So get out and vote. Uh, got any fishy stuff going on and you voted for all, anything like that, get it on video, put it on YouTube, get it to me. We can get it out there. And uh, also a reminder, Ron Paul will be in El Paso, 7 p.m. April 25th at Memorial Gym. Also, 7 p.m. April 26th, he'll be at, in Austin at the LBJ Library Lawn. And also, 7 p.m. April 27th, he'll be in Houston at Ho- Hoff Hines Pavilion, 3466 Cullen Boulevard. And don't forget, Louisiana District Caucuses are coming up Saturday, April 28th, 8.30 a.m. until 12 noon. And if you haven't already, join Watch the Vote 2012 on Facebook. And also check out the uh, Hidden fourthbranch.com that's www.hiddenfourthbranch.com and uh, both of these links uh, is how we can combat voter fraud so it's very important that everyone uh, checks that out and if you're in my area los angeles la liberty hq we do have the headquarters out here la liberty hq uh, where we do have our phone bank and you can come help us make phone calls and and things like that okay so we're in the final segment now uh, hopefully you got to hear that uh, that ad the last before the last break, and uh, I think it came in pretty clearly, so we should have been fine with that. But uh, yeah, showing how Obama and Romney are pretty much the same thing, nothing's changing, and we know that. Ron Paul supporters know that. It's good to have it on video though, so we can show it to new people and show it to others instead of having to scramble and and find all these clips because people don't believe us. They still think Romney and Obama is somewhat different, and on the media it's funny because they say. Oh, it just so happens they agree on something, and they don't, usually don't agree on anything. This is so uh, – they're so different than two people could ever be. I mean, it's such a lie, man. The media is such a joke. But anyways, last thing I want to talk about is a topic that's been on my mind. Maybe I call it the Ron Paul supporters versus the Ron Paul activists. And uh, so what does that mean? Well, I consider Ron Paul supporters pretty much everybody who supports Ron Paul. But see, Ron Paul supporters will post up videos on YouTube, will post up videos on Facebook, uh, comment, all types of videos. Uh, They'll watch the debates. They'll vote. They'll vote in the polls. They'll even get out and and vote. But the Ron Paul activist is going to help Ron Paul become president. They're going to get out there and make phone calls, or if they can't, they're going to be at home doing phone from home, or they're going to help out with we'll watch the vote so we can expose the voter fraud. Um, we're going to they be out. The, the activists are out doing tabling events, trying to get more people to register as Republican, depending on what state you're in, so that way you can vote for Ron Paul. You know, the activists are the ones that are helping out the campaign, helping out the headquarters giving out uh, flyers and information to voters and also to other supporters so that way they can start up their own tabling events in their areas. And so, I don't know. I guess what I see is that I see a a part of the Ron Paul movement or the Ron Paul supporters where it seems like a lot of us don't think or or is a little bit unaware that we have a chance to win or don't think that he can win. I've even talked to a couple of Ron Paul supporters myself that have told me that. And maybe we just have a lot of people that are discouraged, uh, a lot of people that aren't maybe keeping up with the race anymore. I've noticed on Twitter there's been a lot less Twittering and a lot of less retweets when it comes to Ron Paul, at least on my end, and i got a lot of followers. So I've noticed – the slowdown. Uh, somebody did a video saying that they came to visit uh, the Southern California area, uh, Orange County, and that there was really no Ron Paul stickers, signs anywhere, nothing. And, you know, we need to be out there because it's coming up here in California. So I guess my point is, is that I'm trying to get people encouraged, and you need to be encouraged to get out there and do something. Maybe you have a new idea. Maybe you have a new kind of event, whatever. I know a lot of us talk to our family members. We talk to our friends. And like I said, we do things on the Internet. A lot of us are on the Internet. But if you're a Ron Paul supporter, something is wrong. You need to be a Ron Paul activist. You need to be out there. Facebook is great. Twitter is great. YouTube is great. And if you know me, I'm on there all the time. Uh, You know, even when I do phone from home sometimes – 
I'm still on the internet. I'm still on Facebook. I'm still posting up videos. So, you know, you could do phone from home. You know, I smoke my blunt, my, my Ron Paul OG Kush while I'm making phone calls, whatever. You know, if I want to pour me a little drink, whatever. Uh, but I'm working for Ron Paul. And like I said on my Twitter, I used to work for Bank of America for $17 an hour. I work for Ron Paul now for free. And believe me, the pay is better. Uh, you know, I feel much better with myself, can sleep at night knowing that I don't work for that company anymore. And so a lot of people aren't in the position that I am, uh, you know, where they're not working and they still have the ability to be at home and help out Ron Paul. And so that's what I do. My whole time is de- devoted to Ron Paul. I have a daughter I take care of, a family, a home that I got to take care of, and also other things that I have to do. But I make sure that Ron Paul is pretty much pretty much at the top of the list besides, you know, obviously your family comes first, but this is family and this is what we're doing to help our families and to live a life, you know, and for us to have a good life. And that's why we're putting in, that's why a lot of us are putting in this hard work. A lot of us are on a daily grind. And what I'm saying is it's not enough of us. I'm in Los Angeles area. I'm in Pasadena. And we should have a lot more Ron Paul supporters being active. We should have a lot more Ron Paul volunteers. This is a large area. I mean, it's, it might be safe to say there's more Ron Paul supporters in this area than anywhere in the country. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but it's possible because we have the, we're the most populous. We have so many people here. And so you need to get motivated. If you're not out there, if you're not doing tabling events, if you're not doing phone from home, if you're not involved with Watch the Vote, if you're not – doing things like this, you know, Ron Paul Radio, getting the word out there, you know, and all you're doing is posting Facebook and posting Twitter and posting on YouTube. What are you doing? Who are you helping? You're just making it more true when the, when the media says that we're just internet folks. We're just people on the internet, just people that just like him. You know, we went to UCLA, got 7,000 people to show up, if not more people. Where are all they at for volunteering and for coming out and tabling? And I know People are busy. People are got jobs. Some people got more than one job. And if you're out there and you're working seven days a week and you pretty much only got time to sleep and see your kids, then, hey, donate what you can to the campaign. Donate what you can to the campaign. Do what you can. And I understand. As long as you can look yourself in the mirror and you know that you, that you really pretty much have your hands tied. But for the most of us, the majority of us, we do have some free time during the week, even if it's one day or two days, whatever it may be. And if you have more time, then you need to be putting in more effort because you have that opportunity. And that's what I'm doing. So that's what all of us need to be doing. We all need to get focused. We all need to stop whining, stop complaining. Don't be distracted. If the media is making you mad, turn off your TV. Don't worry about it. I'll keep you updated with the BS that they're coming up with. Uh, And let's get out there, man. If you're in the Pasadena area, you need to holler at me. If you're in the Los Angeles area, you need to holler at me. You need to come out to L.A. Liberty if you can. Now, I live far from Venice Beach where the headquarters are, so I'm I'm very rarely at the headquarters. I can't make it there, but I do what I can from home. And we're starting tabling events, and we've been doing tabling events, even bringing my daughter out there waving signs. You got kids? Bring your kids out there. They can wave, wave signs for freedom, too. We need to get more people registered, more people active. There's so many Ron Paul supporters out here. Uh, there's no reason that there shouldn't be 20 to 30 Ron Paul supporters in every major city um, almost every day doing something somewhere. And Ron Paul supporters at home doing phones from home. So hopefully I can give a little conviction. I don't mean to sound like a preacher or a rum sermon. I'm, no, I'm not perfect. I'm obviously... Uh, don't have the answers to everything, and I'm obviously don't do everything right all the time. None of us are perfect, but I can look myself in the mirror and say that I'm doing everything I can and working hard as hell for Ron Paul. So I would ask that you do the same. And if you are already and you're already out there busting your behind, doing what you can, then hey, you're a brother of mine. I got your back. Uh, I'm there with you. I'm there with you in spirit. You know what I'm saying? So. I got nothing but love for all the Ron Paul supporters out there that donate in everything they can, working every day they can hard, getting Ron Paul supporters together, getting voters together, organizing, signing people up, uh, getting Ron Paul events set up, rally events, running the headquarters, all of that. So all of those people, you need to be sure to thank them for working so hard. So like I said, if you're sitting on your, you know what, get up, get motivated, and let's get Ron Paul in office. I'm Paco. I'm your host, it's Occupy the Media. 
Peace. I'll be on 3 p.m. Eastern time.